As someone who's worked in the transmission industry for decades, I can say without hesitation that the General Motors 6L80, 8L90, and 10L80 transmissions are some of the worst designed and most problematic units we see. The 6L80 in particular is infamous for control module failures, so much so that I've personally replaced hundreds of them in my career. What's truly frustrating is that GM's so-called flush service recommendation is just a band-aid that does nothing to address the real issues within the transmission hardware itself. The 8L90 transmission is a case study in poor engineering and design, with widespread complaints about shuttering, harsh shifting, and early failure. While GM continues to advise customers to perform not one, but two transmission flushes to resolve these issues, anyone in the business knows this is simply a way to delay the inevitable and avoid the cost of a proper repair. In reality, these flushes offer little more than temporary relief, and most customers end up back in the shop with the same problems. Perhaps the most damning evidence against GM's transmissions is the sheer number of class action lawsuits that have been filed against them in recent years. Owners across the country have banded together, fed up with unreliable transmissions and costly repairs that never seem to solve the root cause. Despite all this legal pressure, GM continues to push their flawed products and band-aid solutions, hoping to keep negative press to a minimum and quietly move customers into new vehicles. In the midst of all this, shops like Transmax Transmissions in Ocala, Florida have stepped up to the plate, offering the only known real fix for the 8L90's chronic issues. While GM drags its feet and passes the blame, independent experts are the ones actually solving problems and keeping customers on the road. If you want your GM transmission fixed right, you need to look beyond the dealership and trust the professionals who see these failures every single day.